there sure have been a lot of changes. This used to be just a dirt road, no power lines. There's two whitefish cows out there, each got uh, names. One is Panda, the other one's Gloria. Well, I don't know, they're just my pets and they, I, when I got them, well, I gotta go out. And that keeps me active, and get my fresh air and stuff. I don't know, the day sure goes fast. Time you get your breakfast and do the dishes and, and then you go out in the yard work and now all the leaves are falling and there's plenty to do. Well, it'd be nice to have somebody. But I got my dog. <laughs> She's a lot of company. Ooh. The folks bought this place in 1922. They come from the Oldendale. And then I was born in this house in 1925. March 2nd, 1925. And I've been, been here ever since, it's but three years out for World War II. I had to go to Portland there. My dad said, oh, you're too little. They'll never take you in service. But uh, I come back that evening, I was in the, in the Army, in the service. There was a lot of people. A lot of them got killed there on that D-Day and stuff. That was terrible. And I come back and my dad was getting old and kind of crippled and he died early and so I stayed and helped my mother out to keep the place up for her. I guess I've been satisfied with just what I did. I guess I run too fast from the gals. Gonna have a shovel, don't we, Bear? Just old, old country hick, I guess. You, know, you can't get around like you used to. And it's the hardest part when you lose uh, somebody. Yeah, I know my time's coming. It's. Just one of them things. I, I couldn't sit in one of those fancy places. I, I got to be out, outdoors doing something. I guess I'm doing pretty good. <laughs> I'm still trying, and I'm going to keep on.